Okay, so now we look at this, um, what's basically transverse plane. All right, so looking through the body. And the key things we're looking for here, in this position, is what's happening at the, at the tibia and this lower part, and also um, where this knee is sitting relative to the hip. So what we see in Kate here is that actually she gets quite a bit of adduction. Okay, so this leg wants to pull out, which means some lateral structures here are tight. More likely than not, it's going to be things up towards the hip, like your glute knees and min, and or feeding down into the um, ITB, which runs down the side of the leg here, and just wants to pull that knee out. So when you're looking through this position here, we should really be seeing that the hip, the knee, and the foot all line up like this nicely. Okay? And again, from this position, we get just, actually, she's not too bad. Once we correct her, this foot doesn't turn out too much. Sometimes, even when you correct that foot, um, the knee and the foot will still turn out. Okay? And that's basically because there's rotation of the tibia as well, which can still be related to the ITB. There are a couple of other structures or, or issues that can cause that. All right? But fundamentally, we want that foot, ankle, knee, hip, all nicely lined up, okay? Without any rotations in, rotations out, adduction or, no, sorry, <laughs> abductions are coming out to the side or adduction coming across into that, that midline or combinations thereof. It should just be nicely stacked up as you look through it at this position.